my name is Laurie, and today I'm going to be showing you how to determine the difference between the F horn and the B flat horn. Now my horn is special because it's a double, and so it actually incorporates both horns. Most beginners play on an F horn or a single horn, and if you look, you have two sets of, of tubing here. The top set is the F side of the horn, and that's what a single horn would only have. This one, because it's a double, has another whole set of tubing underneath, and that is activated by the trigger or the thumb valve. This horn is a double horn, so it actually incorporates both an F horn and a B flat horn. Now, most beginners only have a single horn, which would be this top layer of tubing here. And uh, the single horn is a little more treacherous to play. Um, and which is not necessarily bad for a beginner because that allows them to develop a stronger armature and to learn to really listen when they're tuning. However, as you advance as a player, you may go ahead and move up to a double horn which also has a B-flat side and the tubing behind here represents that B-flat horn. It is um, with this trigger that you play with the thumb that actually allows you to play the notes on that side of the horn. So you actually have two instruments in one. And the trigger also facilitates the upper and lower register a little bit better. Um, the timbre is slightly different, so you have to make adjustments to keep the tone quality. However, it is usually worth it to have that added horn. And once again, my name is Laurie, and today I just showed you the difference between the F horn and the B flat horn.